welcome back. And today we're going to pick up where we left off on the grasshoppers, crickets, and katydids. So a question I get around here a lot is, what's a katydid? Um, Something well, terrifying. <laughs> That's the answer. Something very terrifying. Sometimes they even have three eyes. That is true. And actually, almost the entire order Orthoptera has extra eyes in the middle. In fact, this is very common in the insect world. A lot of wasp species have this. A lot of roach species have this. Praying mantises have this. Um, Fun fact for another time. Um, so today we're going to show you one of the coolest katydids in the world. So katydids are also known as longhorn grasshoppers. They are their own family within the order, Tetagoniidae, and they get their name because some species make a noise that to some entomologist a long time ago sounded like Katy did, Katy did, which I've never heard one that sounds like that. Anyway, the one I'm about to show you here is a very loud species. And in katydids, only males make noise. They use it by stridulating their wings together. They have little ridges that kind of vibrate back and forth, and be like, hey, hey, hey. and um, species, some have totally different sounds than others. So this is one of the few things I will use a glove to take out. Mm -hmm, because they're not scary at all. <laughs> Actually, when we, before we started filming this, Jason's like, mm -hmm. don't worry, you'll like this one. Um, the only thing I know Look. about this guy right here is that they're very loud. They're supposed to be like the loudest katydids, right? Well, these aren't that loud. Actually, the uh, ones we'll show next time are quite a bit louder. But they have uh, a very, very, very powerful bite, yeah, a.k.a. So like the leather glove. There. Yeah, so um, I don't mind getting stung by pretty much anything, but because this is a physical, extremely powerful bite um, that'll leave a big cut that takes a while to heal, I, uh, I don't want that. You know, I, I work with my hands a lot. A sting just kind of hurts, and it's easy to work with. So um, this species has such powerful jaws for two reasons. One, it is partially carnivorous. So while they'll eat uh, shoots up in the canopy, young leaves, uh, fruit, even seeds, uh, they'll also attack other insects, especially caterpillars, other katydids, stick insects, um, anything they can find up there. Just need to use the key word there, attack, attack other insects. Jason, can I tell our audience what this one's called? Yes. I do know his name. He uh, is a dragon's head, Katie did. That is How right. is that not terrifying? And he gets the name because of these cool little crests on the pronotum. So the head is actually just round. They should have called it the dragon thorax, Katie did, in my opinion. Anyway, this one is a male. Uh, if I had a female out, the female has a long sword-like appendage coming out the back, and she uses that to lay her eggs. And what's really interesting about this species is they use those large jaws to I chew into banana plants and other um, plants that are similar to bananas. And they basically chew a big hole a few inches in, and then she goes in between the developing leaves and lay lays a bunch of eggs. And they're yellow and long. They almost look like little tapered yellow hot dogs. And unless you have a living plant that can stay alive with a big hole in it for three months, you're not going to get these eggs to hatch. So they're very difficult to grow in captivity for that reason. In fact, ours, we haven't bred yet here. We're still trying to work out the right circumstances to get that to work out well. I'm not upset about them not being able to okay. live in New Mexico. No, I don't. That's OK. Yeah, so he's actually a very sluggish cave. I kind of do he want to try to not, pet him, actually. He, as you notice, his legs are pretty small. So can I just like yes. touch the little uh, yeah, yeah. The straight wing or uh -huh. whatever? What's it called again? Yep. Um, just the wing. Yeah, straight winged is the... Oh, I'm so scared. This is like the most terrifying thing I think I've ever done in maybe my entire life. And I got LASIK eye surgery, and that was scary, too. That sounds way scarier. No, this is terrifying. Oh, I touched him. It's like touching a leaf. I touched yeah, him. See, he was soft. not going to attack. He just wants to basically be still and pretend that he's part of the tree. Well, <laughs> I just conquered a fear. Nicely done. Awesome. So come back next week and we're going to talk about two more of these fascinating hoppy little creatures. One I'm actually not that scared of and the other one is maybe like my nemesis if I like dare I say I have a nemesis. You may have to have some uh, butterfly nets present for that one. So tune in next time.